What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a little painting video. Picked up a new body for the no prep car. This is the Proline 1985 Chevy Camaro. As we know, those no prep bodies normally take a beating, especially with me, cause I'm really good at crashing the car. But I've been doing pretty well recently. The car's been running pretty well. So I decided it's time to paint a new body and get that car looking nice again. Along with the body, I picked up the undercover RC drag wing kit. You'll see how this is installed later, but I got the liquid mask all painted inside the body. Got some graphics laid out. I didn't go too overboard this time. That way I'm not cutting here forever, but I got a fresh X-Acto blade. So I'm gonna get these lines cut out and we're gonna start laying some paint down. All right, we got all the lines cut out, got everything cut and ready to start spraying. I peeled out this first layer first, which will be my lightest color. I'm gonna try something a little different here and I'm not sure how it's gonna come out, but it's a little idea I had, so I wanted to try it out. Maybe you could see it on this scratch piece I did here. You probably won't, but my idea is to start on the bottom half here with a charcoal gray, almost like a silver color, and then fade up to white where the white will be up here and it'll fade down kind of into like a charcoal gray more like a shadow coming down i just wanted something a little different something that wasn't just a solid color figured it'd be fun to play around with so i'm gonna try it out who knows how it'll look the idea is to start pretty heavy with the gray on the bottom here one or two coats and kind of fade up moving the airbrush away as i get towards the top here and then after that dries i'll come back with two to three coats of white covering everything to fill in the gaps and hopefully we'll have a nice fade effect. So I'm not quite sure how easy it'll be to see, but the gray is on. It did open up on me in a couple of sections, which I'm not quite sure what happened there, but I'm hoping maybe it'll just add to the effect a little bit. Maybe the white will jump in there and look like some stars or something. I'm not sure, but I'm going to go ahead and spray the white on there now. All right, so we're done with the white now. I added about three to four coats of white because it's semi-transparent, I guess. It's kind of, I mean, you can still see through the body a little bit. It doesn't cover super well, and I wanted to make sure that white really pops and it's bright. So I put about four coats on it, I think. But anyway, I got the purple peeled out now. You all know by now that I like purple. So it was pretty obvious this car was gonna have some purple on it. The purple's probably the biggest section with the roof of the car, the back end, most of the hood, as well as the, the deck of the wing. So it's a good bit of purple. Probably be spraying that for a while. I'm gonna go for two to three coats of that as well. Purple's all laid down. I have to say this Proline Pearl Purple is probably my favorite color to put on a car. The masking kind of hides how pretty it is, but in a minute when we pull off that masking, you'll see how bright and beautiful this color is. Just got one more color to go. We're gonna spray that black in and we'll be good to go. Thank you. 
One more thing, just really quickly, I want to tint those windows like I did on the Nova I painted a while back. So I got some transparent black in the airbrush and I'm going to fog that in there right quick. And then we'll take this masking off and reveal what we've done. So that's a wrap. I'm really happy with how this paint job came out. The lines are clean, that purple looks as great as always, and I'm happy with the color scheme. On that color scheme, like I mentioned in that little text you saw earlier, I don't know what I was thinking, but I completely messed up this white. Normally when you're painting these bodies, you go with your darkest color first to your lightest color. That way your dark colors don't bleed through the lighter colors like it did on my white here. When I sprayed the black over the white after, it turned it into this silver color. So it didn't get that bright white pop like I was hoping for. It still looks pretty good. It's kind of more stealthy, I guess now, instead of bright. But the graphics themselves came out great. This is what I was going for, and I'm happy with it. I've been enjoying tinting the windows on these cars recently. It's really easy to do with just a little transparent black. I just fog it in there. It probably looks solid black right here, but I'll get a close-up shot where you can see. You can still kind of see through a little bit. It just adds to the scale appearance of the car, so you can't see through the window all the time and see all the electronics inside. I really like how the wing from Undercover RC Drag Wings fits on this car. Fits really well, mounts really easy and securely, and I know it'll work just like all their other wings and keep the car steady and stable down track. But that'll wrap it up. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this paint job. I do have another new painting video coming soon, but this one will be on a monster truck body instead of a drag car body. Make sure you subscribe if you're interested in seeing that. The only thing left to do now is try not to scratch it up. Who am I kidding? We all know this thing's gonna get scratched up. But anyway, as always, thanks again for watching. Peace.